Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Chasm on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, turns on things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, this is what we've been installing today: Chasm workspaces. Um, this is the uh, the Chasm that that is the full one. Um, it's not just one uh, cont container. It's it makes it to where you can ha have this container, and then you can install more cont containers for Brave, Chrome, Chromium, different things like that. Um, so the supported architectures are 8664 and ARM64, and uh, and not supported for ARM HF. Um, the version tags. Uh, so the the uh, installation wizard will be on port 3000 and then we'll install it and that takes a little bit and then once that's done we'll be able to access it on 443 port um the default users are admin at chasm.local and user at chasm.local um so that's what we will be installing today so now i'll start on big bear casa os there will be a link down in the youtube description to get to this and um, this is a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, we, we will need to uh, co copy this app store URL right here. I'm going to click the copy. So now this is all the apps that are available in the Big Bear Cost OS. And I also try to keep them updated. So um, this is a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. The custom app store is only supported on Casa OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So now I'm going to start on my Casa OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then More Apps over here. Text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the uh, the URL that I copied over Big Bear Casa OS. And then now I'm going to press Add. So now we have 179 apps. And um, before you can see it over in the categories over here, I'm going to press Refresh. Then I'm going to go back in the App Store, go over here, and you'll now see Big Bear Cost OS. So now you can uh, filter by all the Big Bear Cost OS apps and be able to see them all. So we got the App Store set up. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. Um, I'm going to go over to Search right here, type Chasm. And now you see Apps and then Ch Chasm right here. So I'm going to go into it. You go, go into the Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear Chasm. I'm going to set some services, and the first service underneath the services is called app. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Chasm. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. It's on Linux server Chasm. This is a, 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 the Docker image. And then the, the Docker image tag. And then now restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to uh, mark uh, this container as privileged as true. And then the network mode is bridge. Vo volumes right here. So on the host side is data, app data, app ID, which is a dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up here. And then uh, opt. So this is on the host, and this is on the container side. So the left side is host, the right side is the con container. And the same thing I got, goes for this one and the dynamic variable. And then dev input is on the host side, and then on the container side is dev input. And then run udev da data is on the host side, and on the container side is run udev a da a data. So now um, the, the ports, so 3000 is on the host side. And if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container side is 3000. Uh, we're going to map 443 to 443 on the container. 
And if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then uh, the environment variables. So the Chasm port. And if you change this host port of 443 up here, you will need to change it in the environment variable down here too. And then the cost OS specific co configuration. So um, the architectures are AMD 64, and that's what the Docker image up here supports. And um, the main service is up here, and that's app. That's below the services. And the description, the tagline, the developer, which is Chasm, and then the author is the Big Bear community. Um, the icon, the thumbnail, and a uh, tips right here. So the admin default address is admin at chasm.local and the user at chasm.local for the user account. Now the application title is going to be called chasm. The category is set to Big Bear Cost OS so we can filter by all the apps and find all the apps that are in Big Bear Cost OS. And then port map is 3000. And then the scheme is HTTPS. So if you change that port up here of the install port of 3000 on the host, you, you will need to change it uh, on the port map as well for the web, the web UI port. So that's a bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now we're going to install Chasm on Cost OS. Um, so, I'm going to go to the App Store, and then now I'm going to search for Chasm. And now you can see it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of the category right here. So, I'm going to go into it. I'm going to press Install. Now the admin default address and the user default address. I'm gonna next steps. So I'm gonna continue in background. What this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So um, this can take a little bit to install. So we got it up and running and it's installed. So now I'm gonna go over the container options in COS OS. So if you go up these vertical dots right here, uh, you can open any of the web UI. You can set some tips. So if you go in here, it already has the tips in there, but you can edit it. And then you can add more. And then save. So it reloaded the Chasm container, and then it said it is okay. Um, now if you go back into tips, you can see it did save. It, uh, you can go into uh, settings right here, and you can edit some of the settings, and then press the save button. You can also go into the container, so now I'm in the container and you can also see the logs over here. The, uh, this is great for debugging. Um, you can export the Docker and pose right here. I'm going to X out of there. So you can check for updates for the current tag. And this is actually going to get the update off Big Brick Cost OS. Um, it just depends on if it's a custom install or if it's coming from an app store. So um, now you can uninstall it, restart and fire off and on. So now I'm going to go and set up Chasm. Um, this is the first step. So I'm going to, um, you can open it from here or you can open it from here. So now uh, it is a self-signed certificate. So I'm going to advanced proceed. And now you can read this agreement if you'd like. I'm going to accept and continue. So now you can put a admin password in and a user password. So I'm going to put one in. And then I'm going to put a user password in as well. And then you can use rolling images if you like. You can check mark this and you can skip image download. Um, you can use the GPU on all images. Um, so now I'm going to press next. So now you can start with one container. I'm going to start with uh, Chrome. And then now I'm going to press install down here. So this goes through and downloads a bunch of containers. So this can take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause it right here. And then when it's good to go, I'm going to uh, sh show you the end product. So now once that's done, um, you'll see this screen right here. 
Um, so you can see the web URL right here to get to the login. And um, I'm going to go to it. So you might have to set the sales sign certificate as well. Um, so you'll just do advanced and proceed. Um, so we're on the login. So we did get Chasm Workspaces set up. So now we're going to start on our Cost OS. I'm going to go to the Chasm. You'll see the uh, the end screen on the installation. I'm going to stop the install wizard right here. So now that we've stopped the install wizard, we won't be able to get to the port 3000 anymore. So if you go to it right here and it's a refused. So we're going to need to change the ports around. So I'm going to go up here to the vertical dots and go to settings. And then now I'm going to go to um, the uh, web UI port right here. And But first I'm going to change the host port to 10443 right here. And then I'm going to go up here to the web UI and it's 10443. So now once we've done that, we're going to press save. Now, if you notice this, it uh, it's not showing chasm anymore. It's, it's showing big bear ch chasm. So we're going to need to um, fix that port issue with the string. So now I'm going to SSH into my Casa OS, and we're going to need to debug this and figure out what the error is. So I'm going to do cat and then var log Casa OS and then app management dot log. And then I'm going to add grep to it, and then I'm going to get all the logs with Chasm in it. So now once we've done that, I'm going to see that... Uh, there's a lot of errors right here, so um, I'm going to try to explain it. So there's one error, and the error is trying to decode the port map right here. The expected type is a string, and then the unconvertible type is an int. So, so that means that the 10443 right here is currently an int, but it needs to be a string. So we're going to need to edit the Docker Compose, and I built a Big Bear script to do this. So I'm going to uh, be editing the Docker Compose and turning 10443 on the port map into a string. So now we're SSH into our cost OS, and uh, I pasted in the uh, the bash and the wget, and then it's going to the Big Bear scripts for the edit cost OS apps. Um, there will be a link on the YouTube description uh, for, for this, uh, the Big Bear scripts. So now once we've done that uh, and we paste it in here, I'm going to run it. So now it's going to say the available apps currently are Big Bear Chasm, and that's correct. So I'm going to type the name in. Now I'm going to press return or enter. Now you're going to say please select an editor. So I'm going to select the one. It's either one or two for Nano or Vim. I'm going to press one. So now I'm going to return or enter. Now it's got you in nano. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to port map right, right here. So I'm going to add qu quotation marks on the front and the back. So now this turns into a string right here. So I'm going to uh, say control X and then uh, Y for yes and then a return or enter to save it. So now it's going to asynchronously in the back end reload the container and it should be up and running. So now we're going to sign in and look at the UI. So um, you can open from here or you can go up to the vertical box and open from here. So now I'm going to sign in with admin at chasm.local right here. And then I'm going to put my password that I put in and then log in. So now you can see your usage. You can see your image usage right here and your live sessions, agents, and user usage, domain usage. You can see the users over here, and groups, the compute, and the servers, the pools, uh, managers, zones, connection proxies, staging, and casting, uh, se uh, sessions, uh, workspaces, and developers, uh, you can add an API key, um, a web filter, branding, 
um, a set a settings. And um, authentication and system info and logging. So um, now I'm going to go to workspaces and we installed Chrome is the uh, the one that we installed first. So I'm going to go into it and you can say open se session in current tab or new tab or new window. Um, I'm going to launch the session. So now we're up and running and we can see that it's working. And um, you can go ahead and go to like Google. And you can also go to Big Bear Tech World and you can see it is working. Then you can go to community You can also see that there's options over here, like sound enabled, a microphone disabled, clipboard, download, upload, stream quality, share instance, advanced settings. And you can go back to workspaces and you can see it is open over here and you can resume. You can also delete. Um, so if we resume it, we can go back into it. You can log out, you can delete the session. So um, if we go over to the, uh, the workspaces again and then go to admin and then um, we can go to workspaces right here and then I want to enable brave so this is how, how you get more so you can enable it right here and then you can also go down here and you can say you don't want to hide it from dashboard so I'm going to uncheck that and then submit so, so now you can see brave is enabled now so if we go back to workspaces, we can now see Braves here. So you can open it and um, the image is not currently available, but it will be. So it's downloading. So it's not available just yet. So now you can see that Brave is available now to open. Um, I, I'm in the workspaces, so, so, so you can open it and launch session. And I'm just showing you that it does work. So it had to download the image. So it's got the same options over here. And you can see it's working. So I'm going to go to Big Bear Tech World. And there we go. You can also go to the community. There we go. It loaded. So. We got Chrome and Brave working on Chasm. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Chasm working on CostOS using Big Bear CostOS, a third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.